Deep-rooted plants capture and store more carbon and are more drought resistant. Researchers have been working on a way for plants to capture more carbon that helps to reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere by manipulating enzymes that control root growth. Keep watching to the end to get a list of native plants that already have deep root systems. And remember to like and subscribe. In a significant discovery, researchers experimenting with the chemical molecule mebendazole observed that it altered root growth patterns by deactivating an enzyme that causes shallower, more horizontal roots. This insight revealed that they could potentially engineer deeper root systems, which is a highly conserved trait across various plant species and could lead to more climate resilient crops. The research team has been working on Cress in a laboratory setting and is now refining their techniques to more precisely target the ethylene pathway to achieve the desired growth direction without affecting other plant functions. Eventually they may be able to apply these in real world agricultural settings. There are many plants and trees that capture lots of carbon and trap it in the soil. How much depends on the plant type and environment. For example, trees in the Amazon rainforest may capture a lot of carbon, but it is quickly released due to the condition of the soil and the rapid decomposition of dead trees. Trees in the temperate zone of North America are long-lived, slow to decay, and the soil contains lots of organic matter that helps to trap carbon. However, according to the University of California Davis, grasslands and rangelands can be more reliable sources of carbon capture, especially in areas prone to wildfires. There are many factors that affect the capture and storage of carbon, but keeping deep-rooted plants healthy and thriving can go a long way. Here are some native North American plants that have very deep root systems that not only store more carbon, but can reach deeper aquifers in times of drought. Prairie dock, a tall perennial wildflower that can grow 6 to 10 feet tall, has a taproot that extends as far down as 15 feet. Lead plant is a nitrogen fixing shrub found in prairies and dry plains that has a 10 to 20 foot taproot. Switchgrass is a tall warm season grass native to prairies and savannas that has a fibrous root system as deep as 10 feet. Big blue stem is a dominant grass species in tall grass prairies and has a fibrous root system that can reach depths of 6 to 8 feet. Honey mesquite is a nitrogen fixing tree found in dry regions of the southwest and its taproot can reach up to 100 feet allowing it access to water deep in underground aquifers and the eastern redbud is a flowering tree found in eastern North America and has a taproot that can extend 10 to 20 feet. Depending on where you live, you might have some of these plants nearby already.